Hello and welcome to my channel and today we'll be talking about the uh, BTC finale this weekend at Brands Hatch using the Brands Indie circuit this week so uh, the Brands GP and uh, I think it's, it's been a tough season uh, really for all the teams, fans obviously haven't been able to go I think to a point teams will be happy to kind of put this one in the books and get ready for next season what's going on so let's get into it so we've got three cars was hiring this weekend uh, first up we've got the VWCC, it's created at 14 wins and 37 podiums, that's been replaced by the uh, Cooper Leon for Team Hard next season. Uh, his last win came uh, last season with Jack Goff at Silver in that wet race, it's been a hard season for the VWs, they just look very, very behind on pace this season, they've been, Team Hard saying they're struggling out of corners, of uh, power out of corners, so I think they'll be It'll be exciting to see Team Hard uh, replacing them with the Leons next season. Uh, the Mercedes A Class, uh, Sicily have announced this week that they will be retiring now after 11 wins and 37 podiums. Uh, they haven't announced what they're using yet, so I imagine it's potentially another new car coming into the championship. Uh, they have managed to win the season with Adam Morgan. It's a car that's always been up there, never quite been a title contender. So, but it still looks as consistent now as it always has done, but obviously Sicily have decided now is the time for a new car. And also the Audi S3 is being retired. Uh, it's had one win uh, with Jake Hill last season and three podiums in total. Uh, so the way that's been replaced by is trade price cars who currently run the car are joining teams with Accelerate. So it's going to be Accelerate team price cars racing next season. And they'll be running another two of the Hyundai uh, i30N Fastbacks to be four of them in total next season. So after the development that Accelerator had this season, they'll have another two next season, there'll be four in total. So the development of that, uh, the higher that I could uh, accelerate even more next season, so we could see them very close to the front. So yeah, it's gonna be a, a sad, sad time to see three cars. I have seen the MB Motorsport are making an announcement uh, today. People are rumored potentially they're saying that they, uh, they could be retiring the Honda FK2s, which will be a sad day, but no one knows what that is. It could be just a driver announcement. Um, depends when I get this video up. This video might go up before. If it doesn't, then I'll leave a little caption at the bottom to say what the announcement was. Uh, yeah, trade price cars were seem like they won for the Jack Sears Trophy with uh, Bobby Thompson this season, but after his crash at Croft, uh, obviously missed the last, he didn't get any points last race today, missed uh, the round at. Uh, do we have Snetton and he's obviously missing this round with Brand Tate still has that concussion looking into our championship for this weekend people they are saying there's five in the running um, I think all the butchers mathematically possibly get it I think he's too far behind remember I think after race one no matter how good he does I think he will unfortunately be out of the running I think if you look at Camish and Ingram they'll be my favourites for the front row I think both of them will be on the front row Take advantage of having the less weight in qualifying. They both go well here normally anyway. I think if they go well in race one, they could do, do very well in race two as well. Put them right in the championship hunting and then hopefully they'll uh, uh, go into race three. They'll be hoping to still be in for a, a good shout. I think Sutton could struggle. He doesn't normally struggle in qualifying anyway. It's a very short track, so he won't have, he could do even worse than normal to be honest with Sutton. Um, if he ends up favourite back, he could end up getting the contact from someone else. So obviously, it's, it's the last round of the season, everyone wants points, everyone's battling. There's always a bit more or less than the uh, driving standards. So he could get a contact. He's got to be careful himself if he's trying to fight through, not to go for any silly moves himself. If he does that, then he could... Uh, any damage could just put the end of his hopes. So my pick to win the championship, I think, is that we take in that BMW is just quick everywhere. It doesn't have any weakness, especially on this short track. The weight point won't do too much to it. If he qualifies in the top five for race one, I think it's almost done there and then because he's probably, he, way he takes drives, keeps himself out of trouble, doesn't go for moves, he doesn't have to. It's probably the best car out of all of them. So my pick to win the championship would be would be Turkington. The other championship to be decided is the Jack Sears. Obviously, Michael Creese has that 11 point lead over Carl Bordley. Bobby Thompson, unfortunately, is, is not going to be there again this weekend. So, a concussion from Croft keeping him out. And uh, so, that's unfortunately him out of the championship. And the other one who's in for chance is Sam Osborne, 25 points behind. I can't see anyone. Of them. I think Creese will win it. I think the FK will go well up at Brands, the same as it would for Camish in the main championship. As long as it's 
Ben Kreese didn't get any, have any incidents, get any damage or any car failures. I think he'll take it. Sam Osborne, even though he's 25 points behind, could definitely get himself back into it because that uh, Honda FK2 is very quick. It always has been. Especially when Jackoff had it in uh, 2018, 2017. It always went well. And if it is the FK2's last race, which is being rumoured, with no truth to that at the moment. But if it is, then be a nice send off. But I think Michael Kreese will, will take that overall. Looking to our new drivers, we're going to welcome Brad Philpott into the championship as he's driving the uh, Power Max Racing Vauxhall. A bit difficult for those drivers just to step in for one round this this year. I know Austin Scott any points in the car and people are driving getting their first taste of touring car driving. So that'll be difficult for him, I think. I, I think it'll, if he can just get some miles in a BTC, BTCC car, that'll be good for him. Obviously, Glenn Geddy is still in the VW again, as he's saying goodbye to the VW. He did well last round around the steps and get himself a point. He'll have no weight for the new balance weight for qualifying this time. So, a decent qualifying. Both him and Goff could probably get some, I've got a chance of getting some points for that on the uh, final race for the VW. And then in the Audi, the Rivet is already announced to be driving the Audi in place of James Gorn over the weekend. And now Ethan Hamilton has been announced to keep his place from Snetterton after Bobby Thompson has been ruled out on uh, medical grounds. Uh, the neither of them will have a uh, new driver ballast. So hopefully that all those three drivers will go a little bit better. So they're all driving cars that are being retired. They all want a good send off and they all want to do well for themselves. Hopefully pick up some sponsors. Get them in the attention of some of the teams and hopefully get themselves drivers for 2021 that's about it for kind of one touch preview it's hard to preview it final weekend of the season the main thing is we're losing three cars potentially four which we'll know later on today whether that's what uh mb motorsports announcement is the championship could go every way you don't know what's going to happen it's going to fail you wouldn't imagine take it over failure that bmw has been very reliable he's had one mechanical retirement in two seasons between well, three cars last season and one this season so I think Hamish Ingram for the pole for the front row and Sutton I think will be the one who could actually struggle this weekend just depends how he goes he'll probably make sure race one the way especially qualifying race two see one of Sutton's rocket races and he'll just fly through but wait and see with the shorter track there's a good chance to catch up to back markers back markers either get in the way or you know the battle themselves so we'll wait and see so this is uh, just to say this is a short Brands Hatch preview season finale going to be exciting and uh, don't forget to catch it on Sunday on ITV4 and I will see you for my uh, post uh, season finale review. Thanks for watching.